To a big compromise now on the future of an extended LRT in the capital. The solution is underground. The NCC and the city have agreed to a tunnel under the parkway at a cost of roughly $900 million. CTV's Joanne Schneer joins us now. And Joanne, really, what was such the sore, the sore point at the heart of all this story? Well, the two sides had completely different ideas as to where they wanted this part of the LRT to go. Now, this option saves important park space for the city, and for the NCC, it preserves an important view of the shore. This is the route along the Sir John A. Macdonald Parkway that the Western LRT would take, with one big exception. It would be underground. I think that's, that's a pretty decent trade-off. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't mind having more of a view of the water, that's for sure. Starting at Dominion Station, it would dip underneath the parkway, resurfacing at Pinecrest Creek. The solution came about at the tail end of a 100-day deadline. That's how long a working group involving the NCC and city staff gave themselves to figure out how to resolve an impasse over the LRT expansion. We've achieved a significant breakthrough. The breakthrough means the city gets to protect Byron Linear Park and Rochester Field. We were not prepared to tear up the Byron Linear Park or the Green Corridor through Rochester Field, two treasured community assets. And now with this agreement, they will both have official parkland status. The NCC keeps its view of the shoreline and all its mature trees. You'll see in the images behind me how the realigned and reconstructed roadbed provides about 38% more accessible green space between the parkway and the Ottawa River. So the plan is actually to realign the Sir John A. Macdonald Parkway. It'll be straightened out in some parts. That median will be a bit smaller. The whole road will shift a bit further south. And underneath it, of course, will be the Western LRT. Under the road's probably a better choice, but I'd still rather it being along Carling because there's more population density to deal with there. But uh, I don't know, it's probably a compromise of compromises, so to speak. If it's going to be easier for people to get around, that's awesome. The city is confident it can do all this within its $980 million budget. With the train being directly under the roadbed, we no longer need the depth for ground cover necessary originally for substantial plantings. This simple change to raise the elevation to grade saves tens of millions of dollars. Now taxpayers will get their say on this. There's a public meeting March 30th and an open house at the end of April and a whole lot of people will probably have much to say on this. Graham and Carolyn. For sure, CTV's Joanne Schneider reporting.